In this lesson, we are going to explore the tools within the Massing and Site tab. Our first exercise is going to include creating a 3D topo surface using an imported DWG file that was created in AutoCAD. Then we will create a building pad that will be the basis for the conceptual design of the building. Our first step is going to be to import the CAD link. We are using link over import because link gives us the option to update the CAD file over time, whereas import would not give us the option to update the link. From the insert tab, I will go to link CAD. And I'm going to link in the site topo. I want to make sure that this is set to not have it be current view only so that we get the 3D geometry from AutoCAD. The colors I can leave as preserved and this will help it be an identifier of whether it's a CAD element or a Revit element. I'm going to leave it set to auto origin to origin. I'm going to place it at level one and I'm going to allow Revit to orient it to the view and correct the lines that are slightly off axis just so I can have a more accurate topo file. After I click open, you can see that we have an imported topo file. I'm going to jump to our 3D view here so we can take a look at the different elevations that we have from the topo file. The red lines are the topographic lines. The green are going to represent the future building pad. Our next step is going to be to jump back to the Massing and Site tab. And then I can start by using the topo surface tool. With topo surface, we have the option to place points, which would mean clicking along each of these points and setting the, the specific elevation. In this case, what we want to do is we're going to use the create from import and I'm going to select select import instance. After I've done that, I can pick my import instance and then I have the option to use the layers that come in with it or I can pare this down to just the ones I want. I'm going to go ahead and select both C building pads and C topo minor and hit OK. Revit's going to identify all the different points and the elevation, as you can see here. After I've analyzed it, I can go ahead and click the finish surface, the green check mark here. And what I'll do now is I'm going to go ahead and switch from hidden to shaded so that we can see the topo that was created. The next step is we're going to create our building pad. After we create the building pad, we're no longer going to need this import instance, so we can go ahead and remove it. From Massing in Sight, I'll select Building Pad. And I'm going to use the Pick Lines tool to pick the outline of the building pad. And I'm just going to go through and pick each one of these green lines. Once I know I have a continuous boundary, I can go ahead and finish the sketch. And now I have a building pad. Now that the building pad is created, we can go ahead and remove the import instance. To do that, I'm going to go to the Insert tab, select Manage Links, pick the CAD Formats tab, and then I can select the site topo that we imported, and then click Remove and hit OK.